Testing begins at full speed, and we talk with two people who are at the heart of the process on this episode of Raptera Report. Uh, I'd like to welcome Brian Rath, the Director of Operations for King's Dominion, and Matt Sanko, who is a Manager of Rides Maintenance. Brian, Matt, thank you for joining us on the Raptera Report today. It's a pleasure to have you here. Raptera has entered into what we call the testing phase. Can you tell me a little bit about testing, what that means, and the role of the maintenance team in the process? Yeah, so a lot of our testing that we're doing at the moment is very basic. We are running through the fitment of components, the layout of electrical parts, everything that moves has to be touched, has to be put together. Um, we're double and triple checking just about everything before we ever even get to launching a coaster or anything like that. Got you. And, and what have you accomplished so far? What kinds of, and what kinds of things are you planning in the upcoming weeks? So getting into the more nuts and bolts, we, we're going over the track every inch every square foot um, double triple checking as I said before. We also have a lot of electronic components that are being tested, fired, turned on, turned off, long before they're ever powered completely. Uh -huh. Brian, I, I know while Matt's team is looking at the mechanics, uh, your team is going to be looking at something else. Can you tell us what the operations team is doing uh, as we go through the testing phase? Sure, so we're really excited to be able to get our hands on the ride once the manufacturer and maintenance has done what they need to. Our main goal is going to be reliability. We want to run this ride, run this ride, run this ride, and make sure that all the different components that are part of it, the electrical, the mechanical, are working the way they're supposed to and, and doing so consistently, right? Like So that the ride is going to be uh, up and running as, as much as possible. Gotcha. So while, so while Matt's team is looking at, at the functioning, the mechanics of the ride, you're looking at how it's operating on a on a day-to-day -day basis, and you're going to be testing a lot of different variables like yeah. that, right? Yeah, we want to make sure that the ride is operating the way that it's going to on a normal operating day. So mm -hmm. we're opening and closing the restraints every cycle. We're going to cycle this thing hundreds of times, nonstop, uh, without issue, opening and closing restraints, opening and closing gates, just all the different parts of it that make up the entire ride operation uh, to ensure that it's reliable and consistent. And if we have problems, uh, we'll stop, get Matt's team back out, sure. make adjustments, corrections, whatever needs to be done. And we're probably going to start over because we want to have hundreds of consistent, non-stop cycling. And Brian, this is a, a brand new ride. It's coming to the park. Does it come with any kind of instruction manual? So the ride manufacturer does provide us with uh, a mechanical and or a maintenance and operations manual. It's kind of the basic information that we need to then create our own policies and procedures. So we'll take what they provide us and then layer on King's Dominion policy procedure, Six Flags policies and procedures to um, operate this ride consistently and the way we operate similar rides within the company. Uh, we'll develop our own uh, manual that will help the ride operators learn how to, to operate this ride. Excellent, excellent. That's, I mean, that's really interesting and I'm sure that you're putting a lot of effort behind that process to make sure that this is a, a safe, fun ride every time, right? We're starting now, but as soon as we get our hands on it, that'll help us learn a lot more as, as yeah. the flow, how the flow will go and everything at the ride in the station. A special thank you to Matt and Brian for taking the time to sit down with us. It is incredibly insightful hearing about the testing process from the teams that are doing it. Uh, in addition to our own operations and maintenance teams, uh, there is a third party on site working in conjunction with those teams to make sure that Raptera is fully tested and ready for launch on opening day. In addition to testing, the team is working hard on constructing the queue line, finishing construction on the station house, completing construction on the exit store. We've begun putting in the final landscaping and we're restoring the midway to its pre-construction standards. We're looking forward to completing the testing process and making sure that Raptera is ready to launch. Thank you for joining us on this edition of the Raptera Report.